Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we are going to be talking a build that you guys have been asking me to go over ever since 10.0 has officially released on Grounded, the Shroom and Doom update and yes, that is the Archer build. I have an all new gear set, all new perks and everything like that and why I'm doing the way that I'm doing this build all for you guys in this video so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe but let's hop in and talk the new build for the Archer your class inside of grounded since the 10.0 update has released the first thing we're talking is perks okay so the first perk we're gonna be talking about obviously is the most important when doing a marksman class or an archer class a ranged class anything like that and that is sharpshooter it says the film crawls over the surface of your eyes allowing you to focus with deadly clarity deal increased damage with all bow type weapons now this one is super duper important to have on because it increases your bow damage obviously you have an archer class increasing the damage you're doing with an archer bonus you want to be able to do that each and every phase you unlock you will do even more bow damage if you guys want to unlock this perk easily and get a lot of it go make yourself some gas arrows and shoot them at gnats each gnat you kill will count as one thing you've killed with a bow so it will increase this perk exponentially quickly so go and do that if you guys want to get through that if you guys want to use just regular arrows just go kill aphids weevils and mites it's super duper easy um just use yourself your crow crossbow more on crow crossbows in just a second but that that is an excellent way to go through and get this class built and get this perk is by doing that. You are going to need the sharpshooter perk in order to build this class. Cool. All right. Next thing we're going to be talking about is a perk that's a little bit less known because you have to go find a four leaf clover inside of the pond thingy, um, wherever that is hidden. If you guys know, you know, if you don't, you don't and go check out my video and it'll tell you where it is. But taking a breath here. So Coup de Grass, what this perk does is it allows you to crit, okay? It allows you to crit more often. It makes you lucky. It allows you to land more critical blows. Um, and like I said before, if you have um, something like, I don't know, needing to do more damage or arrows that need to do more damage because you're trying to crit, once again, very important. As I said, everything with this perk, class everything with this build is all about sending out the maximum amount of damage that you can as quick as you can so critical hit chance being up is a bonus okay and the last perk this one i was really tossed between this one and one other one and i'll talk about the other one here in just a second but i was really tossed between this one and well, really more or less Mithridism, but why I chose Mom Jeans. So, if you think about any MMO or even RPG game, when you're playing it and you're in an Archer class, you tend to have some sort of pet or tank that is out taking damage for you because you are not, you are wearing cloth gear normally. You're very squishy. You're not able to go out and just take damage while you're shooting with arrows. So, having the Mom Jeans perk, so whenever you shoot something or whenever you take damage, it's summoning out spiderly that can now take damage for you will pull the aggro off your character and do extra damage once again super helpful really needed for this build so go out and get yourself mom jeans now the other one that i was talking about like i said was mithridism now mithridism i was up in the air about switching between this one and and, and mom jeans but the reason why i went with mom jeans and not mithridism is mithridism is only good if you're fighting wolf spiders or the brood mother now if you're talking fighting those two go put mithridism on trust me just do it because the spiders venom will kill you all the time but if you're not doing any of those just leave mom jeans on you'll be okay especially with the armor that i have selected for you to use for this build speaking of armor let's hop over and talk about that so inside of your inventory, you will see that I am currently wearing a marksman cap that will give you plus bow attack and spider pieces. We'll talk more about spider pieces in a second here. But why am I using a marksman cap? Bow attack. All day. Bow attack. Like I said, that is the most important thing to use when making a bow build is increasing your attack damage. You need to increase your attack damage. The next one I'm using is spider gear because they give you the quickness. They allow you to move faster. Okay. Moving faster is important to this class as well. Now I'm going to hop outside of gear and we're going to talk about why I have a certain setup the way that I do for using this class and a couple tips and tricks on how to be able to use this class a little bit more on an expert level. So if we close out of this, what you'll see is I am in third person. There is a reason for this third person allows you to see your surroundings better, which is going to allow you to move around and climb on your surroundings better and get out of the way of all of those attacks from the bug. 
bugs. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Well, Sim, if you're in first person, you're able to aim with the bow better. Not really, because if you look, you still have your crosshair right in the middle of your screen, and you will shoot to wherever your crosshair is, no matter where, if you're in third person or first person. There's obviously a little bit of bow sway in there, but at the end of the day, you still will use your crossbow to your advantage using this crosshair. So, go through Sit, learn to play in third person. I know it sounds crazy, but learn to play in third person because you'll be able to see your surroundings. You'll be able to see everything around you. You'll be more mobile. That is the point of using this armor is so you are more mobile. Being able to move around is very important when using this build. And the fact that spider gear is also pretty good with defense, it ends up being really helpful. Now, before we go on to talk about weapons, I will give a friendly shout out, obviously, to wearing all of the B gear. That's the rotten gear but the actual B gear will give you a perk that and we'll go upstairs and we'll just throw it on really quick I didn't realize I grabbed my rotten gear instead of my regular gear so let's just run upstairs really quick and throw that on there we go. All right. The last one you get is pollen shot. When you have all of these up now, I know that these give you sprint distance, which is allow you to move faster or further, not faster, but further, which is good, but you're not moving as quickly. So helpful bonuses. Yes, but you're not moving as quick, which is going to make it so you're not as mobile. You may be able to sprint longer, but if you can't get away from whatever's attacking you, what's the purpose of being able to sprint longer if you can't sprint faster? Also pollen shot, it does increase stun damage, which is great. But they have released something within this update that has made it so you do not need this armor and that stun damage if you're using a crossbow. So let's put on our actual gear here and we'll show you what I'm talking about. Now we're going to talk the weapon. The weapon is the crow crossbow. Okay. Why are we using the crow crossbow? Two things. One, the most damage that can be done with a ranged weapon is the crow crossbow. Two, because of the stun that's on it. It gets rid of the need for pollen shot and will allow you to now be able to stun things and get free hits in on bugs inside of the game when you're fighting with a bow class. Once again, this goes right along my point of being able to do the most damage possible in the shortest amount of time without taking damage. This armor may be spider armor, but let's face it, it's no ladybug gear. You will take damage if you get hit wearing this armor so having out something like having a little bit of stun on your weapon is very helpful so that is why i've chosen the crow crossbow i know that the insect bow if we go over to crafting and you guys look at the insect bow it will shoot a lot faster and the damage isn't that much less but it doesn't have that stun effect on it anymore so Really, in my book, the crow crossbow does lead to a better use weapon when you are talking building an archer class. So, end of the day, use it. Go through, use your archer class. It's going to be helpful and go through and use that crow crossbow. The last thing I want to talk about here, actually there's two things, but one of the last things I want to talk about that I don't have on my character right now is a helpful item, which is the Shinobi Sneezes. It's a pollen puff that hides you from enemy sight for a short duration. Okay, it's going to lower your attack damage, but it's going to give you invisibility and it's going to hurt you a little bit, just so you know. So don't use it if you're really hurt. But what I will say is if you have a Shinobi Sneeze and you throw this when you're in a pinch, when you are stuck, when you are getting attacked by something dangerous and you are starting to run a little bit lower on health, use a Shinobi Sneeze. I don't have any on my character, but for this build, it will go hand in hand. So go ahead and use those. But the last thing we're going to talk about is arrows. You will see here I have 20 feather arrows and a bunch of venom arrows. Why is this? Why? One, feather arrows do do more damage to enemies. Just saying, they do. They do do more damage to enemies. Ha, huh, I said do do, but they will. They will do more damage to your enemies that you are fighting. So I use those for a large bunch of my attack. The other thing I want to point out is I don't have gas arrows because I do not have a gas mask on. Okay, so gas arrows become dangerous to use those when you are not wearing a gas mask. This is why I've chosen to select venom arrows. You're not fighting a wolf spider anyway, so you might as well use venom arrows and go and shoot things with the venom arrows. You will do more 
more damage and you'll get damage over time. Once again, like I said, this build is all about damage. It is all about sending out the maximum amount of damage out of your character with the shortest amount of time because if anything gets close to you and you're not as mobile as you think you are, you are most likely going to die. So keep some good old feather arrows and venom arrows on your character. You can use regular arrows. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but you can use regular arrows to you for this build I just prefer those other ones and that in my opinion is going to be your best chance as an archer in the game as an archer build if you guys found this video helpful please make sure you guys hit that like button for me please make sure you guys subscribe today and also don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you would change this build at all I would love to know what your guys' changes are going to be as a friendly reminder just to tell you guys you cannot block with this build so be very careful and as always I'll see all of you guys in the next one